Pierre Thomas leading us off tonight. Pierre, thank you. We're going to move on now to the other major news this Tuesday night in this new variant, Omicron, now spreading across the globe. And what the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, said just today about what's being done in the U.S. right now for surveillance. She said one out of every seven new cases is now being sequenced as they look for this variant here. Now confirmed cases in at least 20 countries. Tonight, three more countries in just the past 24 hours. And this evening, the seemingly different messages from Moderna and Pfizer about the vaccines and how well they might protect people against Omicron. And tonight, why the level of antibodies in your system after both vaccine shots and the booster is so important. Here's ABC's Stephanie Ramos. With the new variant spreading around the globe, the CDC director tonight says the country is on high alert and expanding surveillance in search of the first Omicron case in the U.S. We have the tools and surveillance in place to identify the Omicron variant. We also have the tools to prevent Omicron from increasing the strain on our society and our healthcare system. The administration offering free COVID testing for some international travelers at airports in New York, Atlanta, Newark, and San Francisco, and labs around the country sequencing one in seven COVID positive test samples. I'm here at the New York State Department of Health Wadsworth Lab in Albany, New York, where scientists are taking a closer look at positive COVID samples, about 800 of them a week. Researchers here started hunting for Omicron just as soon as the variant with its 50 mutations was identified. Is it possible? that it's in the air and it's that it's already here in the US that is absolutely entirely possible the statistical power of the sequencing programs and the surveillance programs is pretty high so I think we should see it fairly promptly more than 240 cases of Omicron have now been confirmed in 20 countries but tonight there are new questions about where it originated Dutch officials now confirming two cases of Omicron were in the Netherlands before it was detected in passengers arriving Friday from South Africa. COVID cases in South Africa spiking 53% in just the last day. 10% of hospital admissions in the Omicron epicenter there are reportedly unvaccinated children under two years old. A similar trend seen during the Delta wave. But after some doctors reported Omicron symptoms in South Africa were mild, Dr. Anthony Fauci cautioning that it's too soon to draw conclusions. The physicians, mostly private physicians, who've been seeing patients are seeing that they appear to be a less of a severity of illness. Most of those are among younger individuals. We believe that it is too soon to tell of what the level of severity is. The White House today reassuring Americans that if necessary, it would take about three months for vaccine makers to update the vaccine for Omicron and get shots into arms. The estimate of a few months is all inclusive. Just hours after Moderna's CEO warned the vaccines will be less effective at tackling Omicron, saying all the scientists I've talked to say this is not going to be good. The founder of Pfizer's partner, BioNTech, said even if the variant brings more breakthrough infections, the vaccine should protect the vaccinated from severe illness. Tonight, health authorities reminding Americans that a booster shot is the best protection, saying antibodies, a key part of overall immunity, are even higher after the third shot than the second. We know from every variant that we have dealt with that the more neutralizing antibodies you have on board, the more effective uh, those vaccines are. Uh, against variants. And we expect, even if it's not perfect, that certainly that the more neutralizing antibodies, the fact that you're boosted, the greater protection um, you can have. Dr. Anthony Fauci echoing that point just today. Particularly when you boost it, you get a level so high that even if the mutations of various variants diminish that level of protection, you are still within the range of some degree of protection. Yeah, they continue to say there will be some degree of protection here. Stephanie, also news tonight, the FDA panel has today voted in favor of authorizing Merck's antiviral pill for COVID. This would be the first antiviral pill approved. Right, David, the pill was found to be 30% effective, not as high as expected, and advisors questioned whether it would be safe for children and pregnant women. The final decision now goes to the FDA, but this would be the first antiviral COVID pill you can take at home with a prescription, David. Another tool, perhaps. Stephanie, thank you. And we're going to turn now to the graphic and difficult testimony in the sex trafficking.